Shalom everyone, my name is Tina. Welcome to The Break Awakening. And I wanted to come on here just to hold Israel accountable. Now with all of the things that's going on in the world concerning us, that this is the time that we need to be seen and not just on social media. Okay, and if we're going to be seen on social media, let us be seen doing positive things in our community. For example, there are hundreds of <laughs> scriptures that talks about taking care of the poor, covering ones who are not covered. Okay, how many times do the Most High have to repeat this to Israel? And it is because this is like the top five things that led us into this captivity. The worst captivity, I, I believe, that we've ever had. Okay? And one of them is not honoring our elders, not covering our poor. Do you know what that means to the Most High to not cover the poor? I really urge each and every one of us to examine our hearts because this is the perfect time that Israel need to be seen in our community, giving our resources, being the light, and doing what Messiah has instructed us to do. Okay, so I hope that you are thinking about that. Some of us want to visit the prison, but don't. And what's stopping you? Okay, some of us want to feed the homeless, but don't. What's stopping you? Okay, it's not that complicated. It's simple. Okay, it's very simple. And we make these type of things hard because really, really in our hearts, something is not right. When you cannot consider the poor, when you cannot consider the widows, when you cannot consider the fatherless, but your identity outweighs that, and no one in the community is gathering resources together to do any type of research or documentary on how Israelites did social justice and how we covered the poor. Nobody has thought to kind of bring that to light. But we love our identity. And that's a problem. That's idol worship. And that's what led us into captivity. Idol worship. Okay, so we really got to get it together. And I said I wasn't going to say anything about certain events because the Most High instructed me not to. Okay, and as my sister friend, Prophetess Gail, teaches on wisdom, wisdom tells you to be quiet. You have to see the matter in its entirety, right? So you have to be quiet. And right now, right now, the world the lost ones is waiting for those of us that are awakened to be seen in our community, to be at the council meetings, to be at city hall, to be amongst your community members, not just saying who you are, but bringing that wisdom, bringing resources, being the light. All right. So I hope you, you really hear my heart. And if you feel led to help us to reach our widows and elders, because we give one bag of groceries to our widows and elders, okay, every single month. And we've been doing this since 2009. So if you feel led to help us, please donate the Senior Society. And I'll put the, the link below. And those of you that have been donating, because it's, it's some Israelites that have been donating faithfully. We really appreciate you. And the elders, especially the widows, they rave on and on about the things that we are doing in the community. So thank you all for helping us to walk our Torah. Okay, but the rest of us, I really need us to push forth because the people, our brothers and sisters in the prison system, they get it the worst, okay? They don't hardly have anything, okay? So y'all, come on, let's get up and let's do what we're called to do, all right? All right, until the next video, shalom everyone.